it's your birthday? Oh, right. oh, oh. I told her happy birthday this morning. Uh, Not the book. Am I allowed to lift this? Yep. I mean, I don't know how to feel like your back. I hope you weren't joining the, the party on that one. All right, so we're going to start out with um, one of the least favorite things that I ever teach, and then we're going to end with one of the coolest things that I ever teach, okay? So two things today. The first thing is uh, long division with polynomials. And the second thing is the second thing is synthetic division, which is a super super easy way to do long division. It is the way I teach it. Okay. Okay. Give me a chance. Give me a chance. No. Okay, so let's do this. Hold on. Sorry. No way. Sorry, I skipped a step. Already brought it. Yeah, we knew you learned syntax division last year in advanced algebra. Yeah, yeah. Okay, syntax division is the best. Uh, okay, so we're going to start out by going 2x to the fourth minus x cubed minus 2 divided by 2x squared plus x plus 1. Okay? So it's a simple long division problem. Simple. Remember doing this? Yeah, simple. Okay? So first of all, the thing that you're dividing goes inside the box, right? So I'm going to go 2x to the fourth minus x cubed. Okay, here's your first place where you need to be careful. I'm going to go 2x to the fourth minus x cubed. The next thing I have to do is an x squared. I have to go in order of powers. There is no x squared, so that means I'm going to go plus 0x squared. Okay? Then the next thing that I have to do is x's. Are there any x's? No, so I'm going to go plus 0x minus 2, okay? So you can think of this as being like place value, just like in when you're doing regular division, you have like thousands and then hundreds and then tens and so forth. And if there's no tens, then there's a 0, so there's no x squared, so you put a 0, okay? And I'm going to divide that by 2x squared plus x plus 1, okay? Here is how we do it. 2x squared times what is 2x to the fourth? 2. Wrong. X squared. Okay, stop right there. Why would you say 2? I don't know. Okay? <laughs> Let's totally get that out of your brain. Okay? 2x squared times 2 is 4x squared. That is totally out of the question. X squared. X squared. Good. Okay? 2x squared times x squared is 2x to the fourth. So that means 2x squared goes into 2x to the fourth <coughs> x squared times. That's silly. Okay? Now, just like when you did long division when you were like 8 or whatever, you're going to take this thing and multiply all these numbers by it and write it down here below. So x squared times 2x squared is? 4x squared. Oh, wait. 2x to the fourth. 2x to the fourth. <laughs> What? X squared times x is x to the third. And x squared times 1 is x squared. X squared. Okay? Now, when you were doing long division when you were little, and you did that thing right, then the next step you did is you subtracted. And you just got to cancel each other. So what's, well, the first one should always cancel out because that's why we chose it so that it would. So 2x to the fourth minus 2x to the fourth cancels. Right down. What is negative x cubed? Be careful. Minus x cubed. x cubed is negative 2x. 
negative 2x cubed. Okay? Because of minus 1, minus 1 is minus 2. Okay? What is 0x squared? Take away an x squared. In other words, what is 0 minus 1? Negative x squared. Negative 1, so it's going to be negative x squared. Okay? And then, yes, bring down the next thing, which is why we need to have that in there. 0x, and then go again. What about the minus 2? What is, what 2x squared times, we'll get that in a second. 2x squared times what is negative 2x cubed? Negative x. Michaela? Okay. The x cubed bit. Okay. Negative x cubed minus x cubed. You're confused about how I got negative 2x cubed. Oh, negative x. But when you're doing long division and you get this number down here, what do you do with that? You subtract it. Okay. So it's this minus that. Okay, so it's 2x to the fourth, fourth minus 2x oh, to the fourth, so they cancel. Negative x cubed minus x cubed minus 2x cubed. Right, so all addition is going to change to subtraction, and all subtraction is going to change to addition. Okay, all right, so that gives us a uh, negative x right here, and now I do the same thing. Multiply that through. Negative x times 2x squared is? Negative 2x squared. Negative 2x cubed. That's why we chose negative x. If those don't come out to be the same, we did something wrong. Courtney, stop talking. But see, that doesn't make it zero. Why is it always you? Because you are not writing anything down. Justine is actually taking notes. So she gets to be a little bit innocent. But you are actually just sitting there chatting, not paying attention at all to what I'm doing. In fact, you could be the only student in the class who's not taking notes. Seems like a bad strategy to me, but I could be wrong. Did you guys have a question in the back? Okay, so negative x times 2x squared is negative 2x cubed. Negative x times positive x negative is x. negative x squared. And then negative x times <coughs> 1 is <coughs> negative x. And then like I was talking about with Bobby and Michaela, we're going to subtract those. those. Right? So, right, so negative 2x cubed minus a negative 2x cubed is really negative 2x cubed plus 2x cubed, so those cancel. Negative x squared minus a negative x squared is really negative x squared plus x squared, so those also cancel. And then x minus a negative x, I'm sorry, 0x minus a negative x is really 0x plus x, and so that will give me x. And then now I bring down the minus 2. What can I multiply 2x squared by to get x? Nothing, therefore that is my remainder, x minus 2. Okay? Did you want to break Yes. He's about to show us an easy one. Yes. So this is an easy one, right? No, this is one of the most hateful things I ever This is what Mr. Hobby gets. Oh, it's an easy way I can make a little part. A little box. He said if you wanted to do it the other way, we had to learn by ourselves. <laughs> uh, did you have a question? Did you want to write x plus 2 over? Uh, over 2x plus x plus 1? Because we want to log in here. Uh, 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 what's the box called? What's that? Yeah. Uh, uh, what's that? Uh, yeah. What's the box called? That's worse too. No, it's not. Uh, it's not okay. okay. Okay, let's do another one. Make sure you got this. Hey, fourth, but let's do another one. A little bit easier one. Make sure you got this figured out. Vending machines in the bathroom. Wait, um, X minus squared. <laughs> Wait, uh, X minus two. Uh, X minus two, and we're going to divide that into three X squared plus seven X minus twenty. Okay. And this can be a little bit easier because there's only two things right here. So what do I have to multiply x by to get 3x squared? Slow down. 2x. Oh my gosh. Slow Okay, what do I have to multiply x minus 2 by to get 3? I'm sorry, what do I have to multiply x by to get 3x squared? 3x. 
3 x times x is 3x squared. 3 x times negative 2 is negative 6x. And remember what we're doing is we minus. are subtracting that. So 3 x squared minus 3 x squared cancels. 7x minus negative 6x is good. 13x. Bring down 20. What do I have to multiply x by to get 13? Okay, so 13. 13 times x is 13x. Uh, no, because a minus and a negative cancel make a plus. Why do you put the negative outside of the parentheses? Because we're subtracting this whole thing from this here. Oh, so you have to put it in parentheses. Right. Uh, and then 13 times negative 2 is negative 26. And so we are subtracting that whole thing. So 13x minus 13x cancels. Negative 20 minus a negative 26 is really positive 6. So this has a remainder of 6. So do you always put a negative in front of those in front of the Yeah. So that's going to change the sign of everything inside. 13x minus 13x, how's that cancel? Yeah, how does that cancel? 13x's take away 13x's, oh, yeah, how does okay. that cancel? We're not multiplying, we're just subtracting. Okay, so uh, there is an easier way. The easier way only works when you are dividing by, when you are dividing by a simple binomial like this, okay? And the only confusing thing about the easier way is, if I'm going to divide by x minus 2, then I put 2 in there, okay? And the reason why I put 2 in there instead of minus 2 is because I'm really thinking of this as x minus 2 equals 0, therefore x equals 2. So I'm going to put 2 in the little box in the corner, and then I'm going to write the coefficients of this thing right here. I'm going to write a 3, a 7, and a negative 20. Okay? And I was thinking about this the other day when I saw this lesson coming. I really don't understand why this works, to be honest. But it's really slick and it's really easy. Okay? So do you understand where the 2 came from? Yeah. Do you understand where the 3, the 7, and the negative 20 came yes. from? No. Okay. Wait, so wait, here's the... No. It comes from the x. 3, the 7, negative 20. What is the 2? Yeah. The 2 is what's with the x. It's what x equals, basically. Because you take this and set it equal to 0, which means x equals 2. Okay? All right. So I bring down the 3. So whatever the first number is, you just bring it down. And then you multiply. 2 times 3 is 6. Add those together and get 13. Oh, I remember this. 2 times 13 is 26. Add those together and you get 6. And so there is my answer right there. 3x plus 13 with the remainder of 6. I remember this. Okay? So the stuff that we did that was all confusing, and why are you subtracting, and why did those cancel, and 3x times 7 is 3x squared. No, you're wrong. You're so stupid. It all is a lot easier to do it this way. Okay? Do you like this way better? Yes. Uh, like it throws me off. What? What's wrong with you? Oh, maybe I'll be weird. Assignment? No, let's do one more. Oh. Easy way or hard way? Easy way. Wait, so are you going, are all of these going to be binomials so we can actually Okay, so let's take uh, 2x cubed minus 3x squared minus 5x minus 12 and divide it by x minus 3, and this time let's do it the easy way, and Becca's going to do it the long division way, and we're going to race. No, it's going to take me a little time. let everybody get their stuff done first. Oh, please. Please, sir. Shut up, guys. Shut up, guys. Shut up, guys. Yeah, so if it was divided by x plus 3, then I would put in a minus 3. Okay? okay? 
All right, so the three goes in the box, and then I go two, negative three, negative five, negative 12. Okay, first step is what? Bring down the two. Bring down the two. Three times two is six. six. Add those together and get three. Three times three is nine. Add those together and get four. Three times four is 12. So I have a remainder of zero. And since I have a remainder of zero, that means that x minus three is a factor of this thing right here, okay? And if I factor that into that, since this started with an x cubed, this is gonna be one level down. This is two x squared plus three x plus four. So this thing times x minus three equals zero, okay? So if you get zero as a remainder, that means your original thing is a factor of the uh, polynomial. Okay? Really cool, really easy, really fun. I really feel like you need to research it. You really need to research it, like why it works. I don't know why it works. I want to say that it's a Oh, wait, then you got plus four? Let's try to start with that. I know you guys don't have a lot of time. Yeah, it's Q99. Oh, I Q99. 